time here at Khan Yating Festival, early in the morning when nobody's here, to have a look at this beauty behind me. It's the Rick 280. It's a very new boat. It's a very new brand as well. It was just only launched. So I'm taking this time to show you a little what this boat is about. It's called 280, of course, because the hull length is 28 feet, but the total length, together with the anchor arm and the platform and everything around it, is around 31 feet. So it's rather small, but you will see that there's a lot to discover inside and we will just see all the details. But when we're on the outside here, the first thing you notice, of course, is the really interesting shape of the hull. Especially in the, um, in the bow here, you can see it's a reversed bow and later we will also see it's raised above the, uh, the aft. So it is just going like this, that makes it very safe. We will have a little more details about that later when we're actually on board. And what um, the yard wanted to do with this, especially in times of COVID, they wanted to design a boat that looks sexy, that is really interesting from the outside, but also very practical. And we will also see that inside with all the different details that they thought of. I can't leave the hull just yet because I need to show you these um, double steps. It's a two-stepped hull and that design comes from designer Bill Dixon. And um, what it does is it reduces the drag of the whole boat. And of course, with that enhances the performance, enhances the fun while driving. And we will talk later a bit more about the performance, about the engine and everything when we're there. But from the outside, this is very visible. When we're not in the water, we can see that. And of course, the color, well, each to his own liking, but I really love it. You can see that it changes from blue to green and it's really a sexy boat that people look at and they're really interested in it. But of course, it's completely up to you. You can decide about the color of the hull, the other materials inside we'll see as well. So it's completely up to you and you can individualize this boat to be truly your own. It's up to you how big and how strong your engine is supposed to be, either 250 horsepower up to 350. On this uh, here we have a 300 horsepower um, engine and that brings uh, the Rig 280 up to 40 knots of speed. So that's quite something. Um, and it's an outboard engine, so really easy for maintenance as well. What you can also see, I'm standing on the bathing platform. It's rather big, so there's a lot of room here. And of course on the other side as well, so it's a very easy access to the water. And we have enough room to also traverse from this one side to the other side. So there's no need for me to fear for my feet or for uh, fear of falling. And we have enough room to include some special equipment as well. On this one here, for example, we have a water ski arch, so you can use this boat as a real leisure boat to go out for water skiing or other water sports. Instead, you could also include a fishing rod holder. It just depends on what your favorite thing is to do, and this boat can provide it for you. While I'm walking towards the bow of our boat, I can't help but notice that there's a really large space at the side here. And there's actually a sidewalk going all around the boat, so it's a complete full walk around. And as you saw, I can even go over to the other side of the bathing platform as well. It's 25 centimeters all the way around, so very safe. Um, you don't trip, you don't have uh, many steps until you come to the tea top. We will be there a little later. Um, and also on the side, you can see the bulwark here that's almost 60 centimeters high and it remains that height all the way through. It actually gets a little higher and then the bulwark stops, but we have another railing on top, so it's always at least a 60 centimeters. So it makes this boat very safe even for children or if you have people on board who are not that comfortable on a boat, it's always very safe at the side and not really an option to fall off. So that's what I notice at once when I'm on the side here. Of course, there's also this huge bathing platform. It's really immense. It's almost 2.5 meters in width all along the, um, the width of the boat and about one meter um, to the back. And as I said before, you can walk to the other side. So if you follow me here, there's not much space for me to go. I can't fall off. I can always walk along the side here 
and can use the entire width of the bathing platform and use both sides to get in and out of the water. I'm standing in the cockpit now and on this size of boat the cockpit of course is the most important place on board because you will spend most of your time out here with your friends, with your family and um, you can see there's a lot of room in the cockpit and the main thing about the cockpit is the T-top that we have. The designers tried to include the T-top in the entire design of the boat and as you, uh, as you saw from outside it's really well included in the design. It, um, it fits perfectly to the hull, it fits to the railing that we have, and look at the size of it. It's so big, it's 180 wide and almost 3 meters long. It's incredible on such a size of a boat. So that of course gives us a lot of shade when we're out in the sun. And when we're sitting out here, the T-top doesn't reach out here, but I just have these poles that I can pop in at the back here. And then I can put up an awning to the T-top and just enlarge the T-top and you can see I can't even reach. So that's even more shade that we have in the back of our cockpit and no way to get, get a sunburn and it's very comfortable for everybody in the back. This is the cockpit. You can see next to me there's a big space. Usually here's the table but when I take off the table I can open up the bottom here and it's a huge storage space that can hold all your fenders whatever you need so there's a lot of room for the size of the cockpit it's very easy for me to lift and put down so not a problem if you're not the strongest person and you see the hole here that's where the table leg usually goes there's a high table leg and a lower one and you can just decide what kind of table you want if you want the high table or have it at the same height as the sofa here um, and that would make it an addition to the big sofa. You can put down a cushion, you can also push down the backrest and then you have a huge sun lounge right here and as we saw before if you have the extra sunroof here it will be all nice and shady. There is also just across on the other side here a little galley installed. This is an option. If you want this there's a sink inside and there's a gas burner or instead of the gas burner you can also have a grill and a barbecue outside especially maybe when you're around in more windy areas it makes sense to not have the gas burner but instead the barbecue if you decide you don't want to cook at all uh, outside here in the cockpit there is also an option to have a microwave installed inside and not have this out here at all and that of course gives you much more space in the cockpit more space to put extra chairs for example and then this area comfortably seats um, like six seven people at least and there's a lot of space to get everybody together here I'm standing at the helm station now as you can see uh, behind me this is um, also an option that you can have that you have a real glass bridge uh, area at the helm station and then of course you can uh, get everything done right from here you have a double pilot seat but we'll come to that in a second um, everything you need is right here down at the bottom there is a little storage and there's also the radio that can uh, that you can control uh, from up here or also from your phone there's two um, glass holders up here so everything that you need right next to you and as we're uh, talking about the helm uh, station we also talked about the engine before uh, we have a tank fuel tank of 300 liters a fresh water tank of 88 liters so rather a lot for this uh, kind of boat in this size and uh, when you're sitting here as i said two pilot seats so you can have both people sitting here they're very comfortable seats there is a footrest at the bottom and you can decide to sit you can also decide to stand for that you can just put this up and then it's a little backrest when you're driving while standing up and depending on your size and um, your comfortable uh, how you're comfortable you can also get the seat to the front however you like so it's just the most comfortable position for you to be driving I've gone into the interior now going down it's a very wide opening so it's 60 centimeters wide it's not a problem to go down and I can almost stand up in here so inside the entire interior it's um, a little more than 160 height so for me it's almost standing height very comfortable and as you can see a lot of room to move around when I go down I also have a lot of storage right to my side so it's really nice for just a weekend away I have enough space to put everything that I need so nothing is lying around 
I sit on the bed now. The bed is huge for this size of a uh, cabin. It's two meters wide at this widest point. It's more than two meters long as well. So it's a full length double bed that we have down here. And what you also notice, there's a lot of natural light coming in. We have windows on both sides of the interior cabin. And we also have a window um, or a skylight right at the front of the, um, of the bed. And that can be opened as well. So there's a really nice cross breeze uh, here that you have. So a lot of room. And what I really like is uh, up in the roof, it's padded, it's really soft. So I can't bump my head. That's always a problem that I have. And that's a really nice touch that they um, give this bed area. Right next to me, that's the door to the bathroom. We have um, a toilet in there and it's the same height as out here. So also 165 standing height um, inside the bathroom. And also in there, there's a lot of natural light and we can open one hatch that we can also get fresh air into the bathroom. I'm showing you a few more details inside the bathroom. That's the ventilation hatch up on the, uh, on the roof and another window to the side. So a lot of natural light, as I said, and on the, to the side of the window, you can also have a mirror installed, of course. So it's like a full bathroom. We have an oversized sink. It's made of a, out of a, a fiberglass material. So very easy to clean as well and below some storage as well. So it's a rather big bathroom for a boat in this size and this class. And it's especially great. Um, well, if you're less than 160, of course, you can stand up in the uh, in the bathroom. If you're not as tall, uh, sorry, if you're taller, you can also use the toilet as a seat and just sit down and do everything. And they um, they designed the whole bathroom so that the sink and everything else in the bathroom is accessible while sitting down in the bathroom. I've moved to the bow of our rig 280. So you can see I'm right in the front and what they have tried to do is maximize this area in the front here. We talked about the sidewalk as well. So it was really wide. I had no problems at all to come to the front here. There's always handrails to hold on to. And now I'm in the front here. As you can see, there's a lot of padding everywhere around me. It's really comfortable. It's like this big chaise long that they designed in the front here. I have cup holders to keep all my drinks when I'm in the front and it's wide enough for two people. If you're um, looking at it closely, there's a lot that you can see. And I really like these details because you can just pull up one of the cushions and below that's the hatch that gives us the ventilation and the um, outside light into the interior cabin. And it just folds down again and then it's back to the sump head. If you're a longer person or you just want to stretch out even more, there's an extra cushion here. I will show you in a little bit. We can just put this in the front here and extend the sun pad even longer. And then it is 2.7 square meters. That is quite intense. And as you can also see, it's always very small pieces of cushion. So it's really easy to restore. Imagine being outside, it starts raining. It just takes you a couple of seconds to get all the cushions together and store them inside. And when you're in the port, you can also see you can walk out all the way over the anchor arm and just step out into the marina right from the bow of your boat. This was the rig 280 i hope you enjoyed this little tour as much as i did there's a lot of details to be found when you just look closely and a lot of things that the shipyard did to make life on this boat really comfortable really safe so it's really a great day boat great weekender and i hope you had fun today